Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to The Roof. You know, from time to time, various buzzwords find their way into our culture. My recent favorite is administpam, which is useless email sent from the upper echelon of the company you work for about people you don't know and issues that don't affect you. There is a term that has made its way around the Christian faith community for many decades that has enjoyed a bit of a resurrection in application in recent years. That word is transformational. But what does it mean to apply the word transformational to our faith? What does a transformational faith look like? 2 Corinthians 5.17 sums it up quite simply by saying, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. This verse proves that the length of a passage has quite little to do with the intended impaction of the message it contains. It sounds so simple, but in all reality, this is a verse that calls us to a kind of life change that is actually impossible in the course of our own efforts alone. Imagine the kind of change that is required for one to say, I am a new creation in Christ. The Christ that is part of the most holy of institutions, the Trinity. And here is where we find ourselves in a quite difficult set of circumstances. We see that accepting and following Christ carries with it the call to change. But who wants to change? I like me just the way I am, right? But when we consider the passage found in this Corinthian letter and apply it seriously to our lives, we are required to look at every facet of our lives and decide if the being that is me has anything that runs counter with the being that is Christ. So where does this take us? Do we really have to allow for the work of the Holy Spirit to mold us into who we are to become in Christ? Not wanting to be me means I don't like who I am, right? I don't want to be some mindless, thoughtless soul puppet for the sake of following Jesus. I want to be me and follow Jesus. So here then is the truth of the matter. We are all creations of God, fearfully and wonderfully made, the Bible says. Psalm 139 tells us that the creator of the universe knit us together in the womb. So to be transformed for the sake of Christ isn't as much about changing as it is about continuing toward the desired creation that God set in motion to begin with. It's more about discovering our intended destiny than it is about becoming something completely counter to what was begun in us at conception. The only real change is that we decide to walk toward Christ rather than away. My challenge to you is to devote some time to this thought. Heart, soul, mind, action, intent, and desire, am I different now than before I chose to follow Christ in every aspect and at all times of my life? That's something to think about. Thanks for joining me up on the roof.